guys have heard that a few times, I gather. It's possible, anyway. That is the demo of my song. Uh, at which point, it, currently, the one that you were just hearing was called Baby. Uh, no, it was originally called Debra. Now it's called Baby. So the original demo, all on, I think, the, the Nintendo DS. Most of the sounds that you hear, obviously, the guitar in there. And that demo is pretty old. Uh, it's about the movie Baby Driver, but I wanted to call it Debra because in the movie, the protagonist's love interest is named Debra, and she says there's no good songs uh, called Debra, but there's plenty of them called Baby, which is the protagonist's name. Is all of that unnecessary to talk about? Who knows? But the song's about Baby Driver, and I uh, had a good time writing it, I want to update it, though, because I'm putting out a new recording. So instead of having all of the sounds dumped out of this, mixed together, and into a recording, I'm going to separate all the pieces on the iPad so that it's easier for whoever helps me record to make it all into a really awesome sound. And how do I do that? How do I separate them and make it make more sense? Well, I'm about to show you here on the iPad. Uh, as you can see, I've already split up some of the things. Uh, this is Core Gadget, and I've been working on this for a while. You guys know that much. Normally in the songs, all of these spots to the side, I just... They fall as they might. <laughs> and then uh, right under here, under the name, up, there, up at the top there, you see it says Baby. Um, because it's called Baby now, you'll see that I've already changed the names of those to Kick, Snare, Accent, Snare, Closed, Hat, Ride, Symbol, whatever they are, and they go on for a while. There's, there's a lot of parts to this song. This is, That's part of why this is one of the earliest ones. I've One of the first ones I've jumped into to try to organize for whoever's doing production on this. Uh, and let's see here... Uh, like with Core Gadget, you can bring up the uh, mixing channels here, and I'm just going to bump these closed. This is all the drums uh, here. There's mutes and there's solos. I'm going to put them on solo so that you can hear these are the one. These are all just together. So uh, when I take any of them out, like uh, this is going to be just a kick drum. Now, because they're all separated like they are, it'll be easier to make a mix uh, that is more pleasing to human ears uh, by someone who is more skilled at doing this. I've done the best I can these few times. I'm really, I've really been proud of the stuff that I've done, but I feel like the professional touch will really just make these, well, just better. And you guys deserve it. By, but at this point, you've put up with so much, you deserve that much from me. And uh, let's see here. What I've got to do now is, as I was saying, I've got to go down these and I've got to start changing the names so that it reflects what each one of these parts is. Um, like, I think this number two here, that was the second, uh, as you make a track, like this is probably the first one I did. So it's marked as one. And then you can see each, this one says 13 copies. So I've got probably more than that many things that I've made. And here, let me just go ahead and I'm going to bring these, or, uh, turn that back out and I'll go down here let's see I believe two is probably the chorus so it is the chorus and just like up top I'm just gonna go to the two and I'm gonna tap here it brings up the dialogue and where two is I'm gonna just like take that and I'm gonna put chorus a because there's two parts to the chorus. And we'll rename that. 
to chorus B. And technically this chorus has a third a uh, bit. So we go down here, we got co copy two. And this one is, we can put again, copy, or shoot, <laughs> uh, chorus, uh, chorus, so hard to spell. A, oh, no, A, and return. And this, this other one is a little different, so. And we'll uh, go ahead and make that one chorus C. And hopefully whoever's taking charge of this, this will be something that they understand. Maybe they won't, maybe they will. But I'm hoping that when they're put into a project, they all fall in line so it makes sense anyway. So, um, that's a lot that I have to do on these. I think this next bit. So all of these are going to be the bridge. So I'll just actually go ahead and we're going to go bridge zero and then Bridge one. Can I make this easier on myself by copy pasting? I don't even know. I've never tried that on here. And it's Apple and I don't know how to do it, so just return. Okay, so bridge one, bridge. would technically be bridge zero but let's you know what let's just we'll do it now before i forget and we'll do that one zero and uh we'll make this one make sure we're on the right one okay And then before we mess something up, make this one bridge. Brain two. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a lot that I've already done in a way already. And I think best name for that one is, uh, we're going to call that one bridge return. This will hopefully make sense to someone who isn't me. That, that looks pretty good. That could have made them bridge one, two, three, four. But I don't know. I digress. Uh, so that's actually a decent amount of that part of the song done. It's actually a two minute, 45 second. It's not long. This was the harder part was going through and naming all of these things going left to right. Um, because I put a lot of samples in here. There's a uh, fake saxophone and there's uh, something I labeled dumb low sax. Um. There's a... It's little things like that that I think will make the song pop once they're mixed by someone who knows what they're doing. And... Uh, I mean, that's really most of what this video was about, was like how much I'll have to do to each one of these songs. I'm going to hit save. Well, you know, I won't hit save until I go through and listen to and make sure this is all still lined up. But I wanted to show you guys one other thing before uh, I ended this video. We're going to solo all these drums again. And for anybody that has been wondering for a while with this song, we're going to go back to the chorus. And I'm going to reveal it's a, re a, re a reveal for you.
So you've probably heard that a million times. And you're probably like, where have I heard that, Tim? What are you playing for me? Why, why is this? And I'm showing you why. Because... It's basically from a sample that, oh, not sure why that went black. It's from a sample that everyone has probably heard a lot of times. Um, it's called the Amen Brother sample or the Amen Break. Um, it's from a song by the Winstons from a really long time ago. I'm not going to go into the full story because if you'd like to, you can search about this particular drum beat and its history. Um... What, the, 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 the cool thing I like is a lot of people know the history of the sample going forward, but a lot of people know the history of the sample going backward. The song itself, this song is a copy of a copy of a gospel song, but everybody knows this part. Everybody knows that part. And as I said before, so I didn't sample it. I just copied it to the best of my ability. I have considered asking whoever helps me record this to do a version where that is just sampled. And maybe I'll go back to using the crispy, crunchy, uh, chip tune ish sounds from the, uh, DS for that one. That could be fun. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, other than that, uh, shoot, I feel like there was something else I was going to... You know what? I will save this one because I honestly... There's not much I can, I, I can... I've been through this about 10 times now, and I can fix it if there's an issue. But I wanted to give you a preview of what will hopefully be this month's music slash uh, song slash uh, cover because this is where I've ended up. Let's see. started singing there but then I, I I I considered I thought it was weird for doing it so I, I stopped but uh, I hope that you can go for that and if you know what it is uh, just let everybody else uh, guess later and have fun with it I'm hoping to have fun with it there's some guitar I have to learn and I have to do some harmonies but there's that I hope any of this was informative about how the process works. And if you have any questions, don't uh, don't hesitate to ask. Even if I don't know them, I'll try to come up with something. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Once again, thank you for support here at Patreon and otherwise. Um, hoping to do more videos and some live ones soon. Um, just got a few family things to finally tie down before I can start making some definitive moves here uh other than that uh take care of yourself be safe and uh don't forget my test i forgot it don't forget my catchphrase